Uh, I'm glad you're here today from the various requests that I have received. Um, I want us, as we prepare for the exam, which is in one week's time, I want us to look at a question on bank reconciliation statements. That is, um, I've selected April 2023 past paper, ATD paper, um, April 2023, question 5B. Uh, you are required to prepare the cash book, adjusted cash book, and a bank reconciliation statement. And because we've done this in class, we are just doing a revision, I'll go directly to the question and uh, try to uh, solve, or we try to solve the question together. So this, the question reads, on that April 2023, Mutua Mule, a sole trader, received this bank statement for the month of March 2023. And as of that date, his bank balance read at uh, or was at 7,937,000. So that is the uh, reading, uh, or that, is, that was the balance as per the bank statement. Statement. Seven million. The balance as per the bank statement we've seen is. Um, Uh, seven million nine hundred and thirty seven thousand five hundred okay and at the same time the balances in uh, the cash book the cash book balance stood at uh, the cash book balance stood at um, on the same date. The cash book balance was eleven million eight hundred and two thousand five hundred. Eleven million eight hundred and two thousand five hundred. So as we can see, our bank statement balances is totally different from uh, the balances in uh, our cash book. And just to uh, remind ourselves, uh, for the cash book, we prepare it in uh, our businesses um, as sole traders. Uh, so the cash book is coming from the books of accounts of the organization. The bank statement is coming from the bank, okay? And um, the expectation is this balance should always be equal to this balance. But uh, as we have done in class, this is not always the case. Um, you will see the various, uh, when you look at your notes, you say there are various reasons why this is not um, always the case. So the expectation of this question is we try to find the reason why the two balances are not the same and adjust and come up with the correct balances. That is a reconciled uh, statement and that is where the bank reconciliation statement is coming from. So we said that um, the first thing we need to do is uh, to adjust the cash book. Okay? And that is why in our question, requirement number one is uh, adjusted cash book. Okay? So before we go to that, we are told that his accountant investigated the matter 
and discovered the following discrepancies. One, bank charges of 15,000 shillings has not been entered in the cash book. So what did we say? When we are adjusting the cash book, anything that we did not uh, do, or, uh, what we were expected to take through the cash book and we did it, uh, in the adjusted cash book, we update, okay? We adjust. Anything that maybe the bank did not do, that will go to the bank reconciliation statement. In short, uh, for the updated cash book, the errors or the mistakes that we did as an organization or our accountant um, experienced as uh, they prepared the book, these are the words that we go through the adjusted cash book. So bank charges, that tells you that um, the bank uh, uh, deducted an amount from the box, but we did not, because we are told that bank charges of 15,000 shillings had not been entered in the cash book. So the bank charges were shown in the bank statement, they were not entered in the cash book. And so when I come to the solution, and uh, requirement number one, adjusted cash book. You've said anything you did not do in your books or your accountant did not do, you do it now, okay? Uh, we start with the balances brought down. You've been given the balances as per the bank statement and the balance as per the cash book. So for us to adjust uh, the cash book, we need to use the balance as per the cash book. Remember, we can have a debit balance. This is a normal balance for the assets because uh, the cash book or the cash, the money in the bank, the money at the cash we are holding, the money in the bank is an asset. So because this question is silent, we are not being told whether it is a debit or a credit balance. Okay? So this is where we have um, bank overdraft. Okay? And because we are talking now of the opening balances, because it's this balance that we will adjust. Because we are talking of the opening um, balance and the question is silent. It's not talking of debit or credit balance. It's not telling us whether it's an overdraft or not. We go with what is expected of an asset. That an asset will always have a debit balance. Okay? Unless otherwise indicated. So adjusted cash book, debit balance, so balance brought down. What we are given as the balance in the cash book, 11 million, uh, 11 million, 802,500. 11 million, 802,500. Going to the first adjustment, We've said that uh, bank charges of 15,000 has not been entered in the cash book. Bank charges will reduce the amount uh, or the balances we have in the cash book. Okay? So we need to, uh, a reduction in an asset, we credit, you remember the double entry, we credit, and an increase in the asset we debit. So we need to debit this account with bank charges. Remember we have said that anything we did not do 
in the cash book we need do it now as we adjust the cash book so bank charges of 15000 shillings <coughs> have not been entered in the cash book so we enter that 15000 number 2 the report number 2 given is that a checks drawn by Mutua Mule. Mutua Mule, remember, is the sole trader, the owner of this business. Okay? So, checks drawn by Mutua Mule of 112,500 shillings has not been presented to the bank. So, we gave checks, but these checks have not been taken. To whoever we issued these checks with, this text has not been taken to the bank. So in this uh, number two, in this uh, matter number two, we need not do anything in the adjusted cash book. The issue is um, the bank uh, have not received the check. So it means for last. We did what was expected, but the bank did not. Okay, so that we call at the what? At the what we call unpresented, unpresented checks. So our unpresented checks number one. Remember, they can be several in an illustration or in an exam question. Um, 112,500. 112,500. So, unpresented checks, uncredited checks, and the errors by the bank that uh, will have similar effects uh, will go to, um, will go to bank reconciliation statement. For the cash book, we take what we have not uh, considered in the preparation or in the determination of the balances in the cash book. Number three, receipts amounting to 32,500 had not been entered in the cash book. Had not been entered in the cash book. So we need to have entry in our cash book okay we received but this amount has not been entered in the uh, in the cash book these are receipts it means some money is uh, coming in the organization okay so it means our asset is increasing therefore we debit the adjusted we debit the adjusted cash book with the receipts amount. So receipts amounting to 2,500 had not been entered in the cash book. So cash increased receipts 1,500. So receipts amounting to one that two five hundred had not been entered in the cash book. We have done the necessary. Number four, a check amounting to four ninety two thousand five hundred deposited into the bank on that first of March twenty twenty three had not yet been credited by the bank. Had not yet being credited by who? The bank. So that is not the issue of the cash book. Okay? It is the bank that did not credit that. Remember, when a bank receives checks, or when we deposit with the bank, we credit, or the bank credits. We debit when we receive, but the bank will always credit. So the bank credits uh, this amount. So that will go to bank reconciliation statement.
that is the other item we take to the bank in conservation statement as uncredited checks. Uncredited checks. Uncredited checks, which is amounting to what? A check amounting to 492,500. 492, 500. So that will be our uncredited checks. Number three, number five, sorry. Yeah, number five. Studying order amounting to, sorry, studying order payments amounting to 310,000 had not been entered in the cash book. So that will affect our cash book. It is a studying order. When we have studying orders, when a customer to the bank um, requests or orders the banks to be making payments um, uh, at a specific time. So like I can tell my bank every 15th of uh, every month, you need to pay an electricity this much. That will be a studying order. So uh, upon, uh, I mean on every 15th of the month, the bank will be making that payment. So studying order payment. Again, this is very strict because they are telling me it's a payment that the bank did, but for last we have not entered that in the cash book. A payment will always reduce the amount of the cash book. So we need to credit studying orders, our cash book. So studying order. The amount of this studying order is 310,000 shillings. 310,000 shillings. 310,000 shillings. Uh, number six. A payment amounting to 749,000 had been entered as 794,000 in the cash. So that is an error. Okay? We made a payment, and the payment amount was 749,000, okay? But uh, instead of using 749 as the payment figure, we used 794,000. So what happened with our cash book? Just an explanation, man. Eh? And remember, we use the cash bank column, not the cash column, okay? So in the cash bank column, um, we had a payment of 749. So when we pay, we credit, we credit. So we credited 794. Thousand. This is a payment, okay? But the correct amount, the amount we were expected to credit was 749,000 shillings, okay? That tells you what? That this specific payment is overstated, okay? So it is overstated by what? The difference between the two. That is 794 minus 749. They uh, overstated by 45,000. You add your 45,000 here using your calculator, you will get 794. Okay? So the amount that we remember, we credited the cash book by uh, 794, but we were expected to credit, or the correct entry was crediting it by 749, yeah? So to correct this error, we need to debit the cash book 
with the overstated amount, which is 45,000. So I need to debit the cash book with 45,000, okay? And this is an error. We have not been directed on it. It was still an overpayment, okay? We've not been directed on uh, what payment uh, we were making, but we know it was a payment, okay? So we can stop, we can talk of overstated payments, 45,000. That is the difference. You correct the error by the difference between the two, so that the debits and the credits of this account, what remains in this, in this side of the account, the credit side of the account, will be 749,000. So I hope that is very clear. So in our cash book, this 194 is uh, included this amount for us to get the balances brought down, okay? So I need to correct the error with the 45,000. So on, my, on the debit side of the adjusted cash book, I will take overstated payment of uh, 45,000, overstated payment of 45,000. I hope that has been uh, made very clear. Number seven, a check amounting to 75,000 received on 12th of March, 2023 was dishonored by the bank and returned no record had been made in the cash book. No record had been made in the cash book. So a check is dishonored for, dishonored for various reasons, okay? For whatever reason, this check was dishonored by the bank, but for us, in our books, we did not, um, we did not consider the fact that this check was dishonored, okay? So we need now to consider that matter. We are saying um, a check amounting to 75,000 received. So the same case applies here. So we received a check worth 75,000, okay? So when we received, we debited the cash book. We received a check of 75,000, increasing the asset, we debited the cash book. So when you receive a check, you take the check to the bank, okay? So we took this check to the bank, um, but when the bank received the check, they did not honor the check. They dishonored that check, okay? So to cancel this entry, we were expected to credit, okay? So when I credit 75,000 here, Ignoring, sorry, 75,000. Ignoring all the other entries. So this cancels out with this, and my account remains the way it was. But this entry, or this transaction, was not considered in our books. So now, in the adjusted cash book, we consider that 75, Thousand and that is dishonored. Dishonored check. Okay, I hope that is also very clear for us. Then number what? Finally, number eight. Mutua Mule's opening cash balance of 1,646,250 shillings had been brought forward as a debit balance instead of a credit balance. Okay? Brought forward. That is the beginning of the period. Still in our cash book, the balance that was brought forward, okay, 
we are talking of um, one million six hundred and one million six hundred and forty six thousand. So balance got down. One million six hundred and um, forty six to fifty six forty six two hundred and fifty. That was that is that was how the balance was brought forward because you're told Mutua Mule's opening cash balance of one million six forty six thousand two hundred and fifty shillings has been brought forward as a debit balance. This is what we mean by debit balance at the beginning of the period. The balances brought down is on the debit side of the account. So it was brought forward as a debit balance uh, instead of a credit balance. So what, what, what they're telling us is, this is what we did. We brought down this balance and we brought forward this balance as a debit balance. But the correct entry was uh, expected to be Balance got down one million six hundred and forty six thousand two hundred and fifty. One million six forty six thousand two hundred and fifty. Yeah, six forty six two hundred and fifty. This was the correct entry, but instead of recording this. We recorded it in the debit on the debit side of the account. Okay, so this this will mean to correct the error, we need to credit the adjusted cash book with the double the amount. Okay, the first entry will cancel this. Okay, so this is what we did. Okay. So we need to credit this account with the same amount, 1,646,250. So that will, uh, that will cancel out this account. And the account will um, uh, be left the way it was before this transaction was entered. So after we credit, we now correction okay with one million six hundred and forty six thousand two hundred and fifty and that's why I'm saying to correct this error we need to credit the adjusted cash book with the double the amount so sixteen forty six two fifty times two that is the amount we will use here on the credit side of the account and that is an error that we are correcting. So double that amount. 1,646,250. Uh, you will get 3,292,500. 3,292,500. Okay. So that was 3,292,500. So that was our last on our final uh, matter that was discovered by the accountant after investigation. So when you're done with all the entries, you now balance off your adjusted cash book to get the balances as per uh, the balances as per the adjusted cash book. Okay. So when you add the debits on the, and the credits, realize here we have 11 million. So this side must be bigger than this other side. So our balance to be carried down. All the balance as per adjusted cash book will be on the credit side of the, will be on the credit side of the account. So the total amount is 12 million. And ten thousand. That is the sum of the debit side of this account. Twelve million and ten thousand. 
it should be shown uh, on both sides of the account then the difference between the sums of the credits and uh, the total amount is what we call the balance carried down or the balancing figure of that account uh, from our workings I'm getting eight million three hundred and seventeen thousand five hundred eight million three seventeen five hundred eight million three seventeen thousand five hundred and that is requirement number one the adjusted cash book the requirement number two of the question is very simple remember we have two approaches to the preparation of a bank reconciliation statement one is the reverse of the other so let's try that uh, bank reconciliation statements. So approach number one, we can start with the balance as per, we can start with this balance here, the balance as per the updated cash book. Okay. We can start with the balance as per the updated cash book and our balance as per the updated cash book is 8,317,500 eight million to be seventeen thousand five hundred so when you start with the balance as per the updated cash book you need to add the unpresented checks remember as we are going through the question we discuss the unpresented and the uncredited ch uh, checks so when you start with the balance as per the cash book you will have the unpresented checks. So we add unpresented checks. In this question, we are not having any errors um, that is uh, to be corrected at the bank statement, but in some situations, you will find those errors. So unpresented, unpresented checks. We only had one unpresented and one uncredited. We didn't have any errors. So we add unpresented checks. 112,500. Hope I'm not wrong. Then we deduct uncredited. Uncredited checks. 492. 500 and the final figure we should get after that adjustment is the balance as per sorry not this one we should get the balance as per uh, the bank statement so when you start with the balance as per the updated cash book you should be expecting to get the balance as per the bank statement and that way we will say that you have uh, uh, you have uh, reconciled your balances in the bank and your balances in the uh, cash book that you have prepared. So this is seven million nine hundred and that seven thousand five hundred five hundred shillings. So that is approach number two. 
uh, approach number one, sorry. Approach number two is the reverse of the approach number one. We start with balance, so this is approach one. Let me call it A. Approach B, you can start with the balance as per the bank statement. Seven million nine hundred and that seven thousand five hundred. Uh, you add now the uncredited checks. Four ninety-two thousand five hundred. Then you deduct the unpresented. That is why I'm talking of the reverse of the other when it comes to the treatment of uncredited checks and presented checks and the errors. So we will deduct 112,500. So we expect to get now, we started the balance as per bank statement, we expect to get the balance as per the updated cash book. The balance as per the updated cash book, which is 8,317,500. So that is how uh, we uh, do what we call bank reconciliation statements. As I always say, it is your understanding of the errors that will help you to have uh, the reconciliation done correctly. And in real life situation, if you happen to be employed somewhere and uh, you are required to prepare the bank reconciliation statements, you must start with the opening balances okay, at the beginning. So if the balance brought down uh, by the bank and the balance brought down in your books are not telling, then it means next, I mean the previous year, I'm a last year, these balances were not reconciled. So you need to go back to the time when they were reconciled, otherwise you will not uh, be doing yourself any favor. So having said that, this question will be beneficial to all, it can assist anyone who is taking um, the certificate level, the CAMP uh, level 2, ATD level 1, and the CPA uh, foundation level financial accounting, CIFA foundation level financial accounting, uh, you will really uh, benefit from this. So in case there are any questions, we can continue uh, with our interactions, and I'll still be glad to come back and respond to your queries. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you.